Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a new cauliflower rice today, a little bit more with um, refined rice. Yeah. I begin with the cauliflower and I did this time I will add some pine nuts or celery nuts that you can decide, they are a little bit more inexpensive, the celery nuts, but almost as delicious as the pine nuts. But they are quite fat, so that helps with the cauliflower rice. I just process it together and to make it a little bit more salty, it's also very nice with cauliflower, I just put some uh, chopped olives or olive rings in there. It's also a little bit fat, that's very nice with the cauliflower. That's very easy to make. I have just the florets of the cauliflower, just these florets, you see, that's enough. Uh, the, the, the strunk in the center is a little bit too much for the rice, <clears throat> but you can also use it if you like. I have the S-blade here in the food processor. And I just put the cauliflower florets in. This half a cauliflower, medium sized, small to medium sized, just one portion for me. And here, maybe three, four tablespoons of pine nuts, celery nuts, what do you like? And yeah, same amount of olives I've showed you before. So, three ingredients. And you flavor. Let's see. And now, very short I have to be, because otherwise no more rice. So one turn around and the rice should be done. Yeah, that's what the rice looks like here, refined with olives and pine nuts. Yeah. I will taste it now. Curious if that is really good. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, nice. Really cauliflower, super healthy. Also because there's a lot of water in the cauliflower. So it's a great staple to eat it every day. Um, you can even replace potatoes with raw cauliflower. I wouldn't have believed that before, but it's true. Some people eat cauliflower every day instead of potatoes, especially raw food people, of course. But um, it's for anybody. It's very healthy. And I personally, after eating raw cauliflower, I have no more food cravings. That's very good. So, it's a sign that it is balanced. Here, yeah, my rice. And I said it before, it is a little bit um, watery. Not all. The, the, the cauliflower has a lot of water. So, all is needed, all that is needed here is the refinement to make it. I could eat it like it as is. I want to have a little bit more flavor in there. So, I put um, broccoli. Today, but that's a little bit only. You know, broccoli, especially when it is raw, you just need a little bit. These are the smallest florets, almost. I have picked it apart. You see, not the strunks, not the big stems. Yeah. <clears throat> Otherwise, it doesn't mix, combine so nicely with the rice. The rice texture, especially with this kind of food, the texture is similar. You have a nice effect. You think about rice. You don't think so much about the other big chunks in there. You, you know, the rice um, analogy comes closer. And what's also very delicious, it fits very nicely together um, with the cauliflower, with the broccoli, is a, um, dried tomatoes. Yeah. They're even raw here. You can use any kind. And I have, um, they're a little bit soft. Um, so if you have very uh, uh, dry tomatoes, uh, dry tomatoes, very dry, you can soak them a little bit. Yeah, these uh, are seasoned already a little bit. And they're delicious, my favorite brand. But you will have yours. And so we have now two additional ingredients. The third are walnuts. Who would have believed? It's, it's very nice together with cauliflower, uh, with broccoli, and with tomatoes. I tried it before. Yeah. When I, um, when, I, when I was asking uh, what could I put under the rice together with the broccoli, I found uh, dried tomatoes, not fresh, they have to be dried, um, and um, walnuts, a perfect combination. There are other, uh, other possibilities um, to bring the um, broccoli together in a dish. Example, uh, I tried it once with apples. 
it was very nice and walnuts but um, walnuts um, and apples and tomatoes that doesn't work uh, didn't really work so I left the apples away and took the tomato inside instead because I guess the tomatoes are also nice with the olives and the rice so that's what I have here and so there's two parts three ingredients each you can see beautiful uh, and on top to make it even finer and hotter one chili pepper without the seeds not to make it too hot as you look isn't that beautiful that's my main for today and I guess it's super nutrient super healthy yesterday there was a fasting day um, the day before so I was um, had no almost no food just juices and um, I ate just a little bit of broccoli just a small piece and I had to cleanse the broccoli uh, and there was a lot of little piece of broccoli I just um, ate it away and all of a sudden there was a pressure in my head before from not drinking or from not, maybe not drinking too much or a little bit a detoxification too much I ate the little broccoli and it was immediately away gone such an effect super I don't know why it was but broccoli is super healthy it can even be felt immediately so this is what I have today with this wonderful broccoli and I guess it's a nice combination with all the other ingredients the crunch is there the juiciness is there the fat is there uh, and the watery part uh, in the the rice in the cauliflower rice so I'm excited and I hope you are too if you like thumbs up even more so subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube have another recipe every single day and Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.